let's take a look at our top selections. Hi everyone, the feature race on Saturday at Santa Anita is the grade three autumn miss stakes. Three-year-old fillies at a mile on grass. One mile grass races this meet, for some curious reason, have been extremely formful. There have been 19 turf miles run this meet. 11 of them won by the betting favorite. Now, if that pattern continues, it'll be just fine for trainer Craig Lewis. Craig Lewis enters the Saturday card with 999 career wins in his training career. And I bring it up because he starts the likely favorite in the autumn miss, and her name is Warren's Showtime. Warren's Showtime, she's won five out of 12, four stakes races. She is seeking the first graded stakes win of her career. And curiously enough, so is trainer Craig Lewis. Craig Lewis has been training horses for more than 40 years in California. He's won almost a thousand races. He's never won a graded stakes race on grass, which I found quite curious. He did win the hoist the flag stakes back in 1988, two-year-old grass race at Hollywood Park. However, that year, the hoist the flag was moved from grass to the main track due to wet weather. So Craig Lewis and his Philly Warren Showtime both looking for their first graded stakes win on grass. Let's take a look at the field for the Autumn Miss. It's race number nine, Saturday at Santa Anita from the inside out, mind out, stretching out from a kind of a nondescript sprint race. Quiet Secretary, we'll talk about her in a minute. She is a very dangerous speed horse, might be outclassed, but she is quick. Nasty making her California debut for trainer Richie Baltus. Giddy, a come from behind her who needs everything to break her way. Warren Showtime, the likely favorite, a four-time stakes winner. Going to Vegas, who seems like probably the longest shot in the field. And Crocovoke down on the bottom. So it's a field of seven. Three-year-old fillies at a mile on grass. And the Complexion of the race depends on how fast Quiet Secretary goes. Now, Quiet Secretary's career was going nowhere until late August, and that's when trainer Ian Krulljack finally stretched her out. I say finally as if, what took him so long? He stretched out Quiet Secretary to two turns down at Del Mar, and she went, went gate to wire in a maiden 40. She was 16... 65 to one that day and went wire to wire. That race was not a fluke. She went fast early. She opened up. She died home. She finished in 24 and three, but she got the money at 65 to one. And then in her very next start, I saw enough in that maiden 40 win to suggest that she might be worth backing at a price in her first start against winners. And it was October 3rd at Santa Anita. Let's roll the tape and take a look at quiet secretary after a half mile in 40 five and one the fastest half of the meet for a turf mile three quarters in 109 and two that's quiet secretary trying to spring an upset at six to one but here comes lavender on the outside making her first start for trainer peter miller quiet secretary ran well in defeat those are some extremely quick fractions 45.27 the fastest half mile of the meet in a 109 and two. Yeah, she died home, but that's how front runners run. They go fast early, they die home, and they try to hold on. I don't know if Quiet Secretary is good enough. The chances are she's probably not to win a graded stakes race, but she is quick enough to make the lead. And if she gets out front, rations her speed, gets loose, she could potentially be gone. I'll be very curious to see what the odds are with quiet secretary if she's six to one or higher she might be worth playing again i don't think she's quite in the same caliber as warren showtime and even nasty but her speed makes her dangerous talking about number two quiet secretary number three nasty is coming in from the midwest making her first start in california for richie baltus last time out nasty ran absolutely horribly as the seven to two favorite in a little stakes race in indiana but she had a built-in excuse going in that race was run over a yielding turf course and she completely misfired but her allowance win two starts back albeit with a perfect trip sitting second behind the speed was decisive it earned a decent number an 80 by her speed figure, seven and a half on thorough graph, and those numbers put her right in the thick of things in the autumn miss. Her first start in two months, we all know how Richie Baltus 
horses do coming off a short layoff. Now, look, Baltus is stable. It's not exactly rolling right now, but he is showing signs of emerging from a funk. He's had a lot of seconds and a lot of thirds, and some of those are going to come back and win. Nasty making her first start in California, first start for Baltus. She's probably going to get a great trip sitting second behind Quiet Secretary. Now, if Quiet Secretary backs up, who gets the first over trip? Well, it's going to be Nasty and Ricardo Gonzalez. So I think the Nasty, she's only started six times. She's won a pair of them. She's back on firm going on Saturday, and she is a contender first start in two months. But the horse to beat, well, it has to be the most accomplished filly in the field, and that's the cowbred Warren's Showtime. She's a daughter of Clubhouse Ride, produced by Warren's Vanita. Clubhouse Ride was a grade two winner. Trained by Craig Lewis, Warren's Vanita was a grade one winning mare, also trained by Craig Lewis. And upon their retirement, Clubhouse Ride has emerging as one of the top stallions in California. Warren's Vanita has turned into one terrific broodmare already. Warren Showtime is her first filly, and Warren Showtime has inherited some of her dam's class. She has won four stakes races. But she fell short, or has fallen short, in a pair of graded stakes races. Two starts back, she went, fell too far off the pace in the San Clemente. Her rally fell short. And then last time out in the grade one Delmar Oaks, if she moved too late, too back, she moved too soon this time. And that's Warren Showtime making the lead into the lane, going a mile and one-eighth in the grade one Delmar Oaks. She might be on her way to victory. No, not quite. That's Red Lark going to storm home and win this race going away. The runner-up, California Coop, came and collared Warren Showtime for second. Now, Red Lark would subsequently go back to Keeneland. She finished fourth in the QE2, the grade one QE2, but she lost by less than two lengths. California Kook came back in the Del Mar Derby against Colts and finished fifth by three lengths and then fifth again, I think, in the QE2. The point is this. Even though the two Phillies that finished in front of Warren Showtime last time out both returned to lose, they both returned to run well against better company. Now, maybe Warren Showtime was challenged by the mile and 18th distance of the Del Mar Oaks. Maybe she just got beat by two better fillies. Craig Lewis believes that she has no limitations. Craig Lewis, like many trainers, gets high on his horses. And why not? When they're as good as Warren Showtime, you can afford to brag a little bit. Warren Showtime dropping from grade one into grade three, shortening from a mile and one eighth to a mile, and she is switching to the top grass rider in California, and that's Flavian Pratt. So Pratt, who has worked Warren Showtime a couple times since her most recent start to become familiar with this filly, will be riding her for the first time. She's the most probable winner as trainer Craig Lewis tries to score career win number 1,000. Now, Warren Showtime is his third of three starters on the Saturday card. He actually has a good chance in race number one with the full sibling to Warren Showtime, a two-year-old gelding by the name of Warren's Candyman, who finished third last time out with an impossibly wide trip. And if Warren's Candyman wins race one, ridden by Pratt for the first time, that will be career win number 1,000. Lewis also starts dancing Dana in race number four, a filly sired by Clubhouse Ride. And if both those two flame out, Lewis might be able to get career win number 1,000 with Warren Showtime. Warren Showtime is the horse to beat in the autumn miss. As for number one, Mind Out, I don't know if she's really getting any better. She's not getting any worse. She ran in place last time out, finished fourth in a little sprint stakes. She's kind of one of those tweener type uh, horses with regards to distance. She might not be quick enough to sprint. Not sure how much stamina she has. She should get a good trip sitting second or possibly third behind Nasty. We talked about Quiet Secretary and Nasty. Giddy has to come from the clouds. And one of these times, everything's going to break just right for Giddy, whose jockey Juan Hernandez, by the way, has really made an impact this fall at Santa Anita. He entered the week tied with Pratt as the second leading jockey. So Giddy will be ridden. For the first time by Hernandez. She'll be rolling late. We talked about Warren Showtime. She's the horse to beat. Number six, going to Vegas. Blinkers off. Tough to make a case for her. And Crocovoke, she's kind of similar to Giddy. Come from behind her who needs everything to break her way. Warren Showtime, she's short, shortening in distance, dropping in class. She's the horse to beat. The horse to catch is Quiet Secretary. That's the Autumn Miss Saturday at Santa Anita.